and insight about essence of good deeds. What is called virtuous karma? Good karma is to reduce bad karma, confront it and eliminate it. To create virtuous karma does not mean to add something, but to reduce vice. Take killing as an example. If you have completely cleared up your past killing karma by confessing until you have no killing intent at all, you will definitely live a long life and you will be less likely to get ill. We have received the precept of not killing, so now we do not kill, but that does not mean that we will never kill. If someone offends you to a certain extent, you might kill him, or if you are incarcerated and forget about the precept, you might also kill him. We are not able to stop killing in reincarnation until our killing karma is completely eliminated. A person without killing karma will never kill or create killing karma at any time. So, in order to counteract our killing karma, we practice virtuous actions. That is, in addition to not killing, we will go and save lives. If you saved other beings when they were about to be killed, they will be grateful to you and you could be saved in the future thanks to this karma. Isn't that what we call a good reward? When we are about to get killed, suddenly someone saves us, or we don't encounter the situation of being killed at all. When the earthquake is coming, the war is coming, and everyone is dead, you will stay safe and sound. It is not your turn to die yet and the bomb will not explode even when it falls down next to you. This is the good karmic effect we get because of protecting lives instead of killing them. This kind of good reward is actually not a big deal. Isn't it simply a matter of not dying? This lifetime does not suffer the karmic effect of such a violent death. The so-called good reward is just like this, is just a little bit less suffering. Therefore, we should remember that when we practice virtuous karma, we should not increase greed. There is nothing to gain if we practice virtuous actions. Those who have more good deeds simply have less suffering, that's all. All sentient beings suffer everywhere in the three realms and six paths. It's just a matter of how much the suffering could be. We have nothing to be proud of if we practice virtuous actions with such an attitude. What is there to be proud of? Pride only feeds desires for fame and arrogance, both of which result in suffering.